is that, bro? <laughs> everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about the Battle Pass for Season 18, which is going to be a resurrection themed, and we've got some legendaries for Maggie, and I think Pathfinder as well. We're going to go over some of the upgrades and things that could be changing with it. We're also going to give about 45 bucks, all you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill. Without further ado, let's jump into today's topic about the Battle Pass. So, as we all know, we are getting a brand new Battle Pass in Season 18. That's pretty normal, it's going to be called Resurrection, and it features Revenant on the front. However, Revenant is not going to be the mainstay or the main attraction of this. We are getting a Pathfinder legendary up close as you can see here along with that there will be a mad maggie that you can see here and highlighted in 4k almost along with the pathfinder these are actually pretty awesome although pathfinder looks a little bit like bad bot the credit for this goes to gaming merchant who went ahead and put that up there he also let us see the eva 8 reactive which is going to be the level 100 and 110 battle pass skin makes sense the eva 8 has been incredibly powerful after its latest buff and there will be some epics that will be coming for octane valkyrie and caustic which will be unlocked at level one these look pretty okay they're epics and battle passes we've kind of come to expect this along with this hyper let us know that we'd be getting two epics for weaponry which will be coming for the peacekeeper and for the nemesis the nemesis is actually getting put in the care package which makes sense although it hasn't been listed with any buffs to go into the care package so it might be receiving some nerfs afterwards as has been rumored once it's removed from that care package along with that when august 8th kicks off there will be some new stickers added it's not sure if this is for the collection event or if it's going to be in the battle pass but you can see revenant on there as well stickers are going to be a main theme that seems to be the case going forward for the battle pass however the battle pass overall is going to be getting a lot of changes in the future the big one that everyone knows about is that ag420 found some stuff in the files that said battle pass levels could be bought with legend tokens the red ones in game although it hasn't been announced that it'll be ready for this season it's very well something we could see on the battle pass trailer which should launch sunday or monday but the biggest changes actually come from oz who let us know of some rumors there's no eta that this is coming for season 18 but there is a new type of battle pass being discussed from his information this includes an independent from seasonal battle pass no time limit for completion matching the halo and other games variation a level 100 and 110 reactors will be recolors of old ones which is huge and we'll cover that it will have its own challenges you can still buy levels but it does cost way more than usual now keep in mind this is a rumor there's been no confirmation of this yet but it isn't something that would surprise me whatsoever there's also talk about skydive trails in the near future sometime being put either into the store or also put into the battle pass as well which makes sense because they've now been removed from ranked now what's important to know about this new battle pass that oz is calling it is that it's actually not a seasonal battle pass this seems to be more of a thematic pass with its own themes and isn't tied to just the current season but what i'm really interested in is the recolors of 100 and 110 old ones now of course we've seen that before where they actually gave us the reactive peacekeeper skin in an heirloom event and they got such bad backlash that they decided that they will never do that again however we do know that from other data mine files such as this flatline heat sink right here that showed up that was supposed to be just like that peacekeeper it was going to be sold in an algs collection event that they have more of these actually designed and ready to go and well it just seems like a waste not to try other ways to sell them. doing a separate battle pass where you could get them makes a ton of sense it'll be interesting to see if they actually do stuff like that with these skins because we do know that the wraith season 4 battle pass skin one of the most sought after ones in the game is actually going to be put into the collection event that launches on august 8th which is the death dynasty which is a recolor event having a new system come out for a battle pass that actually you're able to sell old recolors and not get the backlash that they did for that peacekeeper one would be an interesting way of actually putting that into the game and making respawn and ea money which is always their number one prerogative but overall, Atheon did give us some season 18 timeline prediction that I did want to go over because it's pretty accurate from what I understand. The initial launch hype dies down in the first 7 to 10 days. There will be probably a store sale after the collection event, which once again is Death Dynasty. Then there will be a mid-season collection event with launch cross progression with some kind of promotion to bring back some players. And I do think that's an accurate timeline for that because it's in the game files and ready to go. I think that's when we'll also see the Storm Point update as they're waiting for ALGS to be done. So that midpoint collection event comes sometime after September 10th. And that's when we're finally actually going to see a lot of the content that we were hoping to see at the beginning of the season finally come in let me know down below how do you feel about the legendaries coming with it and the reactive eva 8 skin also don't forget to check out this channel right here which is actually by reeds a member of oxygen esports the team i manage and he's got some great gameplay and tips to show you guys and until next time legends keep slaying the outlands i'll see you out there